So welcome to our occult room, which is our garage converted for us to study the occult sciences and it homes all of our haunted artifacts. So we do have some really, really cool haunted artifacts in this room. So we'll start on display case one. So here we have a Tamagotchi and this is from Japan and it caused mass possession at a high school for girls. Okay, and then here we have the daycare doll with the colouring book and this was a tragic incident of um, a young girl who had autism which is close to our hearts and um, she had left her, her doll and a colouring book and her parents and her died in, in a car accident and um, yeah, just awful. And then we go down to the roly-poly toy. You've probably all seen one of these before, but this was given to us by a couple who live in Florida. And they reported that it used to go off on its own downstairs and used to roll around the living room. So that's pretty interesting. And we have our coffin, real coffin, and this um, homes all of our case studies. So it's not haunted. This is not a haunted artifact. We just thought it'd be pretty cool in the occult room. So each haunted item has its own case study and file for paranormal research. So then we go up here, up onto the wall. This is called the Crime Boy picture. You've all probably seen one of these before. They're very popular, but very famous. This was in a house fire, but it was the only thing that survived. So we don't know how that happens, but it is the original. You can see the sign off there. So very cool artifact. And here we have a haunted picture goes by the name of Katrine, found in a cellar in Wales and um, the owner had lots of haunted happenings, even to the point where he would wake up in the middle of the night and it was as if his pulse was being taken. So again, rehomed to the occult family. So yeah, here we are in the middle. This is our lovely seance table, but on top of our seance table, we have a debut box, which was bought by Kim for me for my birthday, which is a great birthday present. Story behind the boxes are they are bound with rope and then they are got wax to keep that evil spirit inside. So if you do shake this box, you can hear, but I would advise you to shake the box. So I'm going to take you to our haunted mirror, which has come from Middlesbrough, um, known as the Hell's House. Okay, so behind the curtain is the mirror. I'll so, open it up a little bit. Yeah, you don't want to see all of it because... I, I, I don't like to look in it myself because um, last time I looked in, into it, my eye swelled up. So it's amazing. Very documented. You can see it all over YouTube, that mirror. Now we're going to move on to a kind of yeah, showpiece. This is a unique um, haunted artifact and we know energy can attach to absolutely anything. The haunted prom dress. Do you want to tell them a little bit about the haunted prom dress? So yeah, this prom dress has come from a shop. It's not been included in any really hauntings or any stories. It, it just says people who wear this dress seem to get a bit weird and the people who have been near the dress in the shop have, I think, thrown it in. And also, it doesn't like going on mannequins. So what do we do? We put it on a mannequin. Yeah, mannequin. So as we're going around, I'll quickly do this one for you. This is our lovely talking board, Ouija board. As you can see, the cult family. We don't know why we've got our faces on it, but it does look cool. So it's um, over a metre and a half long. Um, yeah, it's um, a great piece for cool us. Fun chat really yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go to the ladies now who are just chilling out on this chair. So these ladies do give me the creep sometimes. Um, when we got given them, we got given them by um, a medium. A medium gave us these dolls because she was getting problems in her house and we got told that they did not like men. And I get that feeling every day. I feel a bit better now back in this room, but when they're in the house, yes, they did give me the creeps. Um, and it's only Kim who holds these. Because um, I will not hold the dolls. And I don't hold your divot box, do I? Yeah, we don't no. hold the dolls. <laughs> and then we'll go round to our lovely, lovely day one. Day one, Miss Esther. So Esther was our first ever haunted artifact. She brought us on this journey. Um, she was given to us by the medium. Um, and there's a story behind this lovely, lovely doll. Um, but we're not going to go too much into that because we'll let people just watch our stuff. And so. go check it all out on our social medias, The Occult Family. So this is the e Occult Room. It is going to have more and more artifacts coming in from around the world. It is getting known now. 
as a courtroom, you will see us on our lives, you'll see us investigating here, people can come and visit, just check the website out, but yeah, this is the courtroom. And